my mind is genuinely being blown right now. Genuinely, like, I, I know you can get better price booking direct, but that is a lot. Oh, oh this is great. Weekend away, beautiful hotel, and according to that comparison site, I saved me a lot of money booking through them. Yeah. What did I? Now you see, the thing is, a lot of travelers believe that they are gonna get the best deal if they book through a hotel comparison website compared to going directly with the hotel. So today I want to investigate whether that is actually true. Now for this travel deep dive, I have teamed up with the Intercontinental Hotels Group, who are huge believers that you're gonna make the most savings and get the best price by booking directly with a hotel. Now, IHG did a little bit of research and found that 72% of people think that they get a better deal using a hotel comparison site than booking directly. What's even more disturbing is that like 27% of people said they either booked the wrong hotel or picked the wrong date because they felt pressured by that comparison website. And 43% of people said they made some sort of mistake because they felt rushed. Now, this actually isn't that surprising to me because some hotel comparison sites have come under fire quite heavily recently um, because of using false information to pressure buyers into making a decision and all these like very ethical tactics to make you feel rushed, pressured, and make you feel like this is the only way you're going to get a good deal, and sometimes they have a time limit for you to book in. So I want to jump onto my laptop now, go onto some comparison sites, and actually get some proof. Let's get some random hotels and see what the prices are on the comparison site, and then we'll go direct through the hotel and see how much they are there. It's time to investigate. Spectre Psycho here. Okay, so this is going to be completely organic. Like, I don't know what cities I'm gonna pick, what hotel, none of this has been pre-planned. So we're gonna go in for uh, Tokyo. Why not? Tokyo. Okay, so we'll pick Tokyo. Very good. So this is a comparison site. I'm gonna find a hotel and we're gonna price match it. I don't wanna do it too far ahead, but I don't wanna do it super soon. Um, so let's just do it this time next month. And we'll just do it for a night, for one adult, because I'm alone. Right. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Okay, so we got this one here. Let's just open that up and a cheeky little tab up here. So we got the Shinagawa Prince Hotel. I'm pretty sure I butchered that name because that is what we do here. I'm sorry. But apparently, did you know this? The other six people are looking at this now thing. I could get that on my website and you just make up a number. But we're not gonna go into that. Um, so just one thing, um, if you are gonna use this, don't be pressured, okay? Just don't. Smoking and non-smoking rooms, what are we in the 80s here? All right, so we're just gonna copy this. 21st to the 20, 22, number of guests, search. Okay, so even though I cannot tell what room, um, this is, wow, check-in time, 7 p.m., that is late. Now, short stay, I'm just gonna presume this is the cheapest room that they have because it doesn't actually say through the translation. And that conversion is 58 pounds 31, let's just say 58 pounds. And the cheapest room there is 87. Okay, I also want to look here that they have a optional breakfast to add for £20. I know Tokyo's expensive, but my lord. Right, so that is for the single room smoking East Tower, which shows on the other website. And this might be cheaper because the check-in is late. Let me have a look. Short stay, short stay. That one would have been cheaper because it's a later check-in. I'm sorry, guys. I am all over the place. Okay, so this one, time sale, room only, limited time sale, easy access, yada yada, check into, okay, normal time, single room, smoking, East Tower, and that is consumption tax included. That'll be 9592. 67 pounds, still cheaper, still cheaper. Okay, here's another thing I also wanna have a look at because here it says breakfast, 20 pounds optional. Okay, so you have to add that on. Um, so if we go back to the search results, I found here, if you go down a little bit, um, breakfast included on a single room smoking East Tower, so exactly the same, but this has breakfast, so the total would be, with all the tax, everything, 11, 8, 9, 2. 
84 pounds. It is still cheaper. I'm actually gobsmacked by how much cheaper. So instead of 107 pounds, it's 82 or 84, whatever I just said. If you'd have done the room with the breakfast, you just gone directly with the hotel, you would have got it all with breakfast included for the exact same room. Way cheaper. Genuinely, like, I, I know you can get better price booking direct, but that is a lot. Let's do another one! Okay, so that kind of blew my mind. I needed a minute to process that. I'm gonna look at a couple more and see if that was just a one-off and I happened to just stumble across it. Okay, let's go for a new place in world. Where shall we go? <laughs> Canada. Let's do Canada. Let's do Toronto. Toronto, baby. And we'll do the same dates. I think that was good. One month in advance. I think that's very fair. One adult. Lego. This video has taken a turn, guys. Honestly, I didn't, did not expect it to be like, I knew it was, but not this much. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's just go for the first one. It's a bestseller, in high demand, double room, the Chelsea Hotel Toronto. Have a look. So let's do standard queen room or whatever we can find. Oh wow, so this place has actually done it for you. So if you book direct, it's actually going on to the other comparison sites and telling you what they are offering. Wow, interesting. Oh, and this one's a member discount. I'm actually gonna talk about memberships with hotels and hotel groups a bit later on when we talk about tips and kind of conclude this madness. Um, but yeah, okay, and I've seen, we've seen that one twice now. So a lot of hotels do member discounts. That is good to know. If you pay now, go direct, then you get it for 15% off, which is 175. Okay, so that's the cheap one they're talking about. That's when it's way cheaper, and that's an offer that you can only get direct with them. Now, best available rate, and I'm guessing this is to um, pay when you get there. Um, we've got 185, which is exactly the same. Uh, already we can see that it's either the same, or if you go direct and you're happy to pay now, then you're gonna get like, 30 pounds off the price for a night. Okay, so we're gonna do one more and let's go for somewhere in Europe. Dun, 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 dun. Let's do Berlin. Why not? Why the hell not? And this time I wanna do a bit more of a budget one, like a lower budget one. Okay, so we've got the Hotel Central Inn. All of this controversy is making me hungry. Please translate, my German is very rusty. So on here we got a comfort single room, 63 pounds with one twin bed in there, okay? Someone just booked this. Did they though? Hmm. So I'm doing it Friday to Saturday, probably one of the most expensive. Okay, so 40 to 60 euros. So if it was at 40, that's 35 pounds to 53. It's still cheaper. Even if I went for the 60 euro a night room on a Friday night, that comes down to say just 54 pounds. My mind is genuinely being blown right now. What about their two bedroom apartment? This one here. Let's just say it was the most expensive at 100. 100 euros is say 90 pounds now. What? Oh my god! I am honestly lost for words. You know guys, I'm honestly gonna need a minute to process all this. And maybe have some lunch. That'll, that'll help the processing. Right, so I just went and got a burrito because I needed to, you know, soothe my soul with a big piece of Mexican cuisine. Because it suddenly dawned on me when I was walking over to Grand Central from this hotel that, wow, how much money have I wasted? Okay, but it's okay, it's over, it's done. Let it go. Okay, so I want to look at reward clubs. As it is only appropriate, we'll start with IHG, who offer um, a rewards club. Okay, so what does their reward club give you? So you gain points when you book. You can get cheaper, okay. Joining is easy and free. Wait a minute, it doesn't cost anything? I'm joining, let me join. So now I'm part of the rewards club, because if you don't know, IHG, the Intercontinental Hotels Group, they like oversee like loads of different, like the Holiday Inn where I am now in Birmingham. Let's have a look, make a reservation. Okay, 
let's make a reservation. I want to go to Manchester. So we got the Holiday Inn in Manchester and all those. Now let me just quickly jump onto a comparison site and see what the difference is with this. Okay, so I found Holiday Inn Express Manchester City Centre, £104. Double room, £104. So just so we're all clear, IHG isn't a hotel comparison website, it's just where it lists all of its like hotels that are kind of like overseas. Wow, that's a like a £10 difference. And for a one night stay I'd earn 1,041 points. I don't know what that means but it's exciting. I think with, when you get enough points you can like use it against rooms and get them even cheaper. Okay, I think we need to take to the sofa now and discuss, conclude and talk about this Finally. So after I have processed how much money I have wasted over the years by not knowing these simple tricks and hacks for an experienced expert traveller as myself, oh look, a pillow for me to cry into, excuse me. So let's sum up because this has been a really long video. This has genuinely blown my mind. So hotel comparison websites clearly do not offer anywhere near the best price going. Another thing I wanted to cover was when hotels sign up for comparison sites, a lot of the time they're charged between like 15 and 20% commission. So that's what they lose. So by going direct as well, especially if you find a small little hotel, not like it should matter, but I've stayed in a lot of little small, little family run hotels and they've talked about how certain sites, they're just like, they need to get their name out there but then it really hurts them because they take so much money from their booking. So I think it would be great to use the comparison sites to kind of compile your own list of hotels, kind of compare them on there, have a look, check them out, and have a rough price. And then once you've picked one on that site, go directly to that hotel and book it through there. Plus, it's always better to have a direct booking with a hotel instead of through a third party because then you're cutting out the middleman. Also with the IHG Rewards Club, um, which is completely free and you save like so much money and then you can collect points. Now I love collecting points. I love it. I have so many loyalty cards. If there's a loyalty card, you, you want to know how many nectar points I've gained in the past week? Especially with so many hotels that um, IHG do, if you're going to stay there anyway. Honestly, they did not request that I big this up as much as I am. I'm just genuinely so impressed and shocked. So if you just sign up for that free, you get money off and it'll just get points towards like and especially if they're hotels that you're probably gonna stay at even semi-regularly, even if you're not, even if it's just a one-off and you go and you book it and you get like 10 pounds off a night and you got some points that you might come back to like next year, whether you're a frequent flyer or like just a wonderluster, like. To conclude, use comparison sites to find a few hotels that you like the look of and then go directly onto their website and get a better deal. I think we can all take from that. And I would love to hear your story down below. Please don't crucify me for not doing this sooner. It's just, I've been a very lazy traveler and I think a lot of us are. Like, I'm a pretty savvy traveler, but we all have our flaws. Please don't attack me, internet. Um, yeah, this has blown my mind and I'd love to hear your stories down below. Also, if there is any other kind of video like this where you want me to do a little Inspector Psycho. Ow. If there are any other kind of videos like this where you want me to investigate like a topic in the travel and tourism industry then please let me know down below because I'm really enjoying this. Also I want to say a massive thank you to Holiday Inn in Birmingham City Centre for letting me use their gorgeous junior suite to film this in. Guys it is hot <laughs> and they are so nice here so thank you so much. And a massive thank you to the Intercontinental Hotels Group, or IHG, for sponsoring this video and also like helping me deep dive into this whole world of, oh my gosh, why have I not done this sooner? So I'll leave all the links for IHG down below. Don't forget, just go and sign up for their rewards club because you might as well, you do not lose anything and who doesn't love collecting points? So give it a like, a share, tap the bell, subscribe, everything you need to do on YouTube these days just so you see my next video. It's a lot, I know, I'm sorry. Also go and give IHG some love, links are down below and I'll see you in the next video. I've gone German. I do not know that. Okay, I'll see you later. My old burrito time! Oh my god, baby! The rice, the beans. Excuse me.